Welcome to Master Math. Here's a couple of tips to help you get the most out of these lessons. First of all, they're free. So you can watch it as many times as you need to understand the concept. Secondly, if I cover something and it's confusing to you still, hit your back button and look at it again. And third, when we come to a you try it problem, hit your pause key, try the problem on paper and pencil, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you enjoy yourself. Well, Master Math students, I'm giving you a break today because today's lesson is as easy as pie. I mean, all you got to do is remember one formula to calculate the area of a circle. And that formula is the area equals pi r squared. That's all you got to learn. Ought to be easy. Of course, I can't make it too easy. So I'm going to throw in some problems that will make you think a little bit. But still, you're going to master this lesson without any trouble. Again, the area equals pi r squared. Pi, which is 3.14, and you remember it's really 3.14159 and goes on forever. But you don't have to worry about all that forever numbers. You just remember that the area equals 3.14 times the radius squared. Well, that's easy. If I have a circle with a radius of 5 inches, to calculate the area, I just multiply 3.14 times 5 squared. And that totals to 78.5 square inches. Now you do have to remember that. It's not inches, it's square inches because we squared the radius and the radius was 5 inches. So the square of 5 inches is 25 square inches. Now what if they tell us the diameter of the circle? In this case the diameter of the circle is 18 inches. Well all you have to do is remember that the diameter is twice the radius or that one half the diameter equals the radius and then plug that into A equals pi r squared. A equals 3.14 times 18 times one half squared and in this case it equals 254.34 square inches. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. This one's easy as pi. The area equals pi r squared, and that's for a full circle. A semicircle is a half a circle, so the area is going to be half whatever the area would have been for the entire circle. In this case, area equals one half pi r squared, or one half times 3.14 times 22 squared, which totals to 759.88 square centimeters. This one's a little bit tougher, but not a whole lot. When you think about the fact that this symbol we put thrown in the circle looks to me like it's cutting the circle in about half. See if you can figure this one out. Hit the pause key do the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. This one looks tricky, but it's not really that tough. That symbol that's breaking up the circle looks like it divides it in half, and in fact it does. So the area would be one half pi r squared. Now the other trick is that I'm giving you the diameter and not the radius. So you have to take half of the radius or half of the diameter to get the radius. So the area equals one half, that represents the white portion, times pi times one half the diameter squared. And that equals 16.6 .6 square feet. Well this one's a little trickier too, but if you look at this design,
I think you're going to see that it's somewhat symmetrical and it could be broken up into components and those components I think you'll recognize. Try it, hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit, hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Well this design looks a little bit symmetrical and, and I think I can see some quarter circles in it. How about you? Does that look like a quarter circle in the corner? And if that's a quarter circle, we could figure out the area of that quarter circle. It would be 1 quarter pi r squared. Well, wait, do we know r? Well, I think we can guesstimate r. If the sides of the square are 12 inches, then these shapes come to the middle of that side, so that side is 6 inches. So the radius of the circle is 6 inches. And the formula for the area of that quadrant would be 1 quarter times pi r squared. But there are four of these. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we've really got a full circle. And we could calculate the area of that. It would be pi r squared. And we could calculate the area of the square. The area of the square would be 12 inches by 12 inches or 144 square inches. The area of the circle would be 3.14 times 6 squared, and that equals 113 square inches. So the only thing left is this white portion in the middle, and that would be the difference between the area of the square and the area of the circle, or 31 square inches. Well, that was a, a pretty easy lesson. You only got one thing to remember. The area of a circle equals pi r squared. Now let's put that to use. Go to www.mastermath.info and download the worksheet on pi and the area of a circle. Test your skill there and then go back and take the quiz at Master Math on pi and the area of a circle. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I hope we see you again real soon.